As an ex-pizza restaurant worker, I learned how to make exquisite tasting pizza. Now, I'm ready to show you how to make wonderful pizza right in your own home. So let's continue by putting on the toppings and baking the pizza. It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Why. While it's very difficult to recreate a pizza restaurant's pizza in your own home for various reasons, the first thing you'll need to have is to make a great dough that you like. In a previous video, I teach you how to make the dough that we like, and I'll put a link in the description below and above right here in this video. You will also need to have a great tasting sauce. If you follow my recipe in my previous video, it's not hard to make a pizza sauce on your own that can be even better than the sauce you get in a restaurant. Again, a link to the video is in the description below and above right here in this video. While your dough is rising and the sauce is simmering, now is the time to grate the cheese and slice up the pizza toppings of your dreams. For the cheese, we prefer to grate our own since it's cheaper and the cheese stays fresher longer when it's in block form. My daughter is a fan of a pepperoni mushroom and onion pizza. And she's recently added bell pepper to that mix, but for now it's pepperoni, mushroom, and onion. So I'm going to quarter the pepperoni and make it small enough for my small pizzas and slice up the mushrooms and onions really thin. One of my son's favorite set of toppings we got from a local pizza restaurant that they called the Meaty Hawaiian Pizza, which includes Canadian bacon, pineapple, and bacon. So I chopped up the pre-cooked bacon and pineapple to get them ready. For my wife and myself, we love toppings. So I generally put on every vegetable and meat available in the refrigerator. For our pizza today, it's going to be Canadian bacon, pepperoni, rotisserie chicken breasts, and bacon for the meats, followed by sun-dried tomatoes, mushrooms, onions, and green bell peppers for the vegetables. Now that the pizza dough, sauce, cheese, and toppings are ready, Preheat your oven to a really high temperature, like 500 degrees. At home, you will notice that I am using parchment paper under the pizza crust on the baking sheets. That's to help keep the pizza from sticking. And once you've got all that ready, it's time to top the pizza using the techniques I learned while working for a summer in a family-owned pizza restaurant. Oh, I loved working there. To begin the topping process, I add the sauce first by using a ladle to hold the amount of sauce we need and pour it onto the pizza dough. Next, we're going to use that same ladle to spread out the sauce evenly over the dough up until you get to the crust. Using the ladle is key as it makes it easy to spread out the sauce evenly over the dough. After you put as much sauce as you desire on the dough, it's time to layer on the cheese. The cheese in the restaurant we used was crumbled instead of shredded, so it was smaller and easier to cover the pizza with. But the theory here still applies. We're going to try to cover the entire pizza up to the crust, and don't let any of that red sauce show through the white mozzarella cheese. Now that there is a nice layer of cheese, it's time to put on the toppings. Meats will go first, and you follow those up with the vegetables. Meats for pizzas are usually pre-cooked and all you need to do is warm them up while the vegetables really need to be baked. So you want them exposed to that air as much as possible so they can be baked at the high temperature. My daughter's pizza is up first where we first lay on the pepperoni followed by those wonderful mushrooms and lastly the onions that she likes. For the second pizza, it's my son's pizza and we're going to put on the Canadian bacon because it's flat, followed by the bacon because they are small, and then topped with the wonderful sweet pineapple. And as adults, we are going to start with the pepperoni, followed up with the Canadian bacon, the rotisserie chicken, and then bacon. So that takes care of the meats. Then on top of that goes the sun-dried tomatoes, which needs less baking, followed by mushrooms, onions, and finally, the bell peppers, which needs the most baking. Topped and ready to go, time to roast that pizza for about 12 minutes in the oven or until the cheese and toppings are done to your liking. Look at that wonderful looking pizza fresh out of the oven, making me hungry just looking at it. Now let's see what my kids think. 
Are you recording? Okay. <laughs> that cheese is very stretchy. The crust is good, actually. It's not like... Well, I like really thin crust, but if I were to have thick crust, then this is good thick crust because you can easily bite through it and it has good flavor. It's kind of like if you have bread knots or garlic knots, it's like that texture. But I like that texture. I don't like crispy crunch crunch. I like terrible... <laughs> like terrible. <laughs> I like terrible crust. <laughs> okay, let's get a bite with pepperoni, mushroom, and onion. That bite tasted very nice. All the flavors came together very well. I still really like this crust. Mm. I think more of 9 out of a 10. Disney Cruise Pizza I like better. Wow, this thing really has a lot of flavor. And you can really taste the things on top like the pineapple, the tomato, the cheese. I also like the bread, because it's very soft. It's like some of those super hard pizza crusts where like you bite into a rock. This one feels more like, I guess sort of like a pretzel. I like think pretzels are kind of, you know, hard around the edges. Overall, I think the flavor of this pizza is really good. Happy, healthy, wild chef Barry here, reminding you to, wait a minute, you're still here? Well, if so, then you might want to consider clicking on the like button or leaving a comment down below. It really helps support the channel. And you can also subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays with shorts on Thursdays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.